ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ ಕಿಪಾಸಿಂದವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರಣ್ಯ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಹರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪುರಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೇತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಧು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪಂ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಬರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜ ಸ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ತ್ವಂ ನಿಷಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಈದ ಭಾಗವತ ನಾಮ ಜನ್ಮೆ ಭಗವತೋದಿತ ಸಂಗ್ರಹೋ ಅಯಂ ವಿಭೂತೀನಾಂ ತಮೇತಾ ವಿಪರೀಕುರು 
यथा हरो भगवती नीनम भक्ति भक्ति सर्वात्मनिखिलधारी इति संकल्पो वर्णय ईदम भागवत नाम जन्मे भगवत संग्रह वयम विभूतीना तमेतादिपुलीकुर यथा हरो भगवती नीनम भक्ति भविष्यति सर्वात्मनिखिलधारी संकल्प वर्णय गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात टोल्ड दैट शुक्राचार्य इज द आचार्य हु इज बिजी विथ ब्लड एंड फ्लैश जेनेटिकल फैक्टर दे आर बिजी विथ ऑल दिस थिंग प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट शुक्राचार्य is actually the acharya who is busy with all the time busy with blood and flesh genetical factors and profit and loss account he cannot guide bali maharaj properly how possible he cannot even guide himself that is the main point so though we know Sukchaj Sukracharya is having some special qualities. Kavi nam Ushana Kavi. In Gita, Bhagwan declared among all Kavi poets, Kavi, I am at me Ushana Kavi. Ushana means Sukracharya. Actually, this kind of guru cannot guide themselves even. how we can expect guidance from them now we going to discuss about this point some sometime somebody asking to prabhupad somebody going to ask ask prabhupad ask, asking prabhupad whom bhagwan can uh, who can feel attraction for bhagwan or whom bhagwan can you know give the feeling of attraction so that he can feel attraction for bhagwan baba speaking actually nandanandan bhagwan sri krishna is a supreme lord all infinity world is supposed to be attracted by krishna krishna is like a prakita magnet but we are not feeling attraction why Each and everybody, all of us, to Krishna. This word means Krishna, है ना? Krishna तो आकर्षण, ना आकर्षण. So that everybody should feel attraction. Is supposed to feel attraction for Krishna. Ananda, Krishna can give Ananda, and Nam Ananda. and can pull attract all jivatma but those jivatmas they are not feeling attraction for krishna this is simply because there is some covering those 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 jivas they have some covering on this chetan atma those chetan atma can never be covered but still like the sun god when cloud a piece of a piece of cloud coming and going to cover the sun and we watch that the sun god is covered up it is impossible chidatma saprakash vastu still it is a magic spell of maya going to cover up the consciousness cannot feel due to maya enveloped by maya that's why just like iron piece if there is ferric oxide red ferric oxide all around due to moisture actually it's called moist you know follow moisture can make a coating can make a coating on iron piece 
in that case magnet can magnet cannot attract that iron piece magnet iron iron piece is supposed to be attracted by that magnet but that magnet cannot attract by why because there is covering of ferric oxide insulation so the magnetic field cannot come out properly and magnetic field if not coming out then magnet cannot attract follow follow prabha speaking krishna krishna prest gurudev sometime we are giving uh, we are you know doing mantra na namam vishnu padaya krishna prestaya bhutale this way we are doing krishna prest gurudev is a shakti akarshani shakti eh attracting force krishner akarshani shakti like radharani krishna feeling attraction follow whole world krishna can attract whole world and that krishna going to feel attraction for radharani is not a matter of joke whereas krishna is going to attract whole world infinity world is going to attract attract them they are feeling attraction or somebody not feeling because of passiveness but that krishna who is going to attract the whole infinity world that krishna going to feel attraction for radharani radharani original guru tatva so krishna feeling attraction for radharani similar way all our guru tatva coming from radharani especially in gauriya bhajan raganuga bhajan we can feel that way those who cannot go up to that point they can feel nithyananda balaram is the original point nithyananda can attract krishna by seva mood balaram going to do seva all the way all the time all different way countless way radharani actually doing seva and rasa tattva we can think that way so krishna prestho gurudev he also shakti tattva coming from radharani or somebody can think come coming from baldev same thing as your baldev his shakti is anangam you know baldev you know janava thakurani baldev nitananda is janava thakurani shakti janava thakurani actually baldev cannot directly stay in rasa leela not possible nitananda nitananda going to stay in rasa leela nitananda going to stay in rasa leela but in the form of ananda manjari follow so krishna prest gurudev is a is a attracting force for krishna krishna he can attract he can attract krishna eh yeah. so this way actually tadrup this way sebba bhagwan sebba bhagwan who is you know is a sebba bhagwan or sebba bhagwan sebba bhagwan feeling attraction by the seva mood of sebak bhagwan there is a there is a procedure this way we are doing now here we here we know prabha speaking that it is quite natural for infinity period bonded soul their averse to krishna krishna bhuli sai jeev anadi bahirmukh i already discuss so many thing anadi bahirmukh for bonded soul jeevas are of two categories i already told in written in chaitanya chaitamrita bhakti mukta gur also writing nitya mukta nitya badha and i told tatastha position is marginal position neutral position neutral position means neither this side nor that side neither this side means nor in the side of aprakita jagat na no? Neither in the side of Aprakita nor in the side of Maya, it cannot so happen. It is one kind of yardstick. We 
set a standard, neutral point. But Prabhupada, all Guru Bhagavad they are speaking. Tatastha position, neutral position means nirvishes condition. Nirvishes condition, no seva, no maya. Badaji cannot stand in this neutral platform. There is no, it is like ideal gas I already told. Like zero conception should be there, but cannot touch. It is not fictitious, it is not, you know, allegory, it is not, you know, imaginary, but still it is there. Zero is very important, without which all mathematics is useless, we cannot do. Similarly, for Anadi Bahirmukh, Krishna Bhuli, Saijib Anadi Bahirmukh, for infinity period, bonded soul, they are averse to Krishna. It's, it is full. And now it is, it is, though it is not natural, but it, it, now it has become a uh, you know, uh, no, phenomenon, usual phenomenon. So this way, they can, they are always feeling, you know, Anadi Bhairu, they are feeling attraction from Maya. So, standing on this material platform, it is not possible for us to express some assumption or some... We cannot do. Logical interpretation cannot stand in the way of that absolute truth. So, Sukracharya, though Bhagavan himself coming, try to understand. Supreme Lord himself coming in front of Bali Maharaj, Sukracharya Maharaj is also there. Sukracharya. Sukracharya, or the Guru of in Acharya of the Asura Kula, Asura, those, were, those Asuras they accept Sukracharya as their Acharya. So you try to think, Bhagavan himself in the form of Banan Bamande is there. Everybody feeling some. Ecstatic feeling, even those pujaris, those who are offering, you know, ghee in jagya, everybody. But Sukrajaj is so passive. Sukrajaj is not feeling any attraction. Sukrajaj is also there. Whereas Boli Maharaj is going to feel some attraction. Who is he? Is Batuk Baman's short figure is coming with feeling some attraction. Very tremendous attraction. And Bali Maharaj is always ready to give anything that Bhamandev, Bhagavan is going to ask. It's quite natural. If we can give anything and everything unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan, then our life is successful. We know it. Sarvatma Nivedane Balir Ahut. Sarvatma Nivedane Bali, the Dadas Mahajan. And each one of them going to show one track of Bhakti, Bhakti Acharya. Hold on. They are going to show one one track of Bhakti Acharya. So Bali going to show Sarvatma Nivedan, Atma Nivedan. All his possession, Balaji and Bali Maharaj going to give. Hold on. Vishnu Sravane Parikshit Abhavat Bayasaki Kirtani. This kit, this sloka, very nice. All different Acharya they are going to follow one track of Navida Bhakti. Now Bali Maharaj is very important, where he is going to show submission unto Lutas. He is going to follow his grandfather Prahlad Maharaj. That's why his importance is coming in front of us. Sarvatma Nivedane Bali Abhut. Bali Maharaj went to show Sarvatma Nivedan. But Guru, Sukraja is standing. Sukraja is standing. He is not feeling any attraction. On the contrary, Sukraja is going to give advice to Bali Maharaj. Je eso Bali, eh, Bali, eso Vishnu Rabbayaha. 
is Vishnu Bhagavan, is Vishnu, is coming in front of you to cheat you. Follow. Bhagavan can also cheat. And is he cannot take that way the Bhagavan coming to give kipa. That is adhakshik, adhakshik vichar, material conception all the time. So he is speaking that actually Bhagavan Vishnu coming is going to take everything from you. Be, be careful, don't take any, give any donation. Don't give any donation to Bhagavan Devi is coming in this form. Is requesting. Is not feeling attraction for Bhagavan that Bhagavan coming to give kipa. These are no. Is advising this way to disciple. Eh. This way we see in the Jagya Khetra Bhigu 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 Kacha. Bhigu Kacha, one place there in South India at the bank of Narmada Nadi, where the Jagya was arranged. Bali Maharaj was there, all his and you know, Parshads there, Bindavali wife also. Now here point is there. Bali Maharaj is going to take some donation from Bamandev Maharaj is going to take some donation from Bali Maharaj because Bali Maharaj is asking, you take something. I can give anything, everything what you want. But Bamandev speaking, I need only three you know, space, three leg of land. I can put footstep, three footstep of land. You know, three path for me. Then Bali Maharaj was laughing, as some false ego. <laughs> I am actually king, big, I can give anything where you are going to ask back. So actually you are not, uh, you are not conscious about your self-interest. That's why you are going to ask that way. You, I can give you anything, but, but Brahman speaking, but Batuk Brahman, I mean Bamandev Maharaj speaking, I am actually Brahman, I am always satisfied with whatever I get. Now if you can give me three footsteps of land that you can give, otherwise I am going. No, 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 I can give. Then going to take water in the pot and going to take resolution. Eh? Hello, Pratigya, I am going to offer, I am going to Om, with Om, I am going to speak mantra, but Sukraja is going to go against Bali Maharaj, don't give. If you give everything, how you can live? Foolish! Eh? If you give everything, how you can lead your life? Foolish! This way. But Bolima has to give no. If you are going to give me caution, that is Vishnu, Esha Vishnu Rabbaya, then I can give donation 100%. First I thought that Bamandev is one just Brahman. But now you speak to me, that is, is actually Vishnu. So 100% I can give. Why not? I am lucky because is actually to be to be frank he is actually initiated by Prahlad maharaj follow actually sukracharya having some special quality sukracharya having some more special quality than brihaspati devaguru devaguru is very very learned you know very devaguru brihaspati but sukracharya is also has some special qualities like meta sanjivani if any daita, if any demon going to die, then Sukracharya has some mantra. He can do mantra and that man can again stand up. That's why the son of Brihaspati, that is why the son of the son of Brihaspati is never coach. The son of Brihaspati, Gurudev of demigods. His name is Koch. He was sent by Brihaspati to Sukracharya to serve, to get the secrecy, to get the secrecy of Mito Sanjivani Mantra. So this kind of speciality there is Sukracharya, which is not there 
with Deva Guru Vaishwati. So Kajajo can any time, Mitra Sanjivani Mantra, can, if some dead body there, you know, Asuras, demons, he immediately make, make them stand up. This kind of speciality. Anyway, but still is material. Some special quality can be there. Some special quality can be there with somebody. Maybe, maybe so many qualities. But still, it doesn't mean, still it doesn't mean he can get bhakti or he has bhakti. That doesn't mean. He is not the sin down. So much, you know, scholarship can be there. We Vaishnavas should be very clever to use their scholarship, to use their proficiency, to use their, you know, knowledge in favor of Krishna Bhakti. Like Mahaprabhu wanted to change the mood of that, you know, that Digvijay Pandit. Digvijay Pandit, then he wanted to get certificate from different place all, you know. Everywhere he is going to get certificate. You give me certificate, I am the topmost Pandit or you will have to fight with me. Follow. I can give you certificate. Digvijay Pandit, he want to prove that I am the topmost Pandit of all, you know, in this art, on this earth. But still, Mahaprabhu gradually, by his soft mood, gradually wanted to change his mood. Finally, he was totally converted, changed. Totally changed. He was Acharya in his Sampradaya. So, magic spell, Mahaprabhu giving his kripa, and Mahaprabhu told him, This is not, this is not the result of Pandita. You have proficiency, you have Pandita, you have great Pandit, but the result of your Pandita, 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 is not this kind of fighting. You can go everywhere and anywhere. You can get certificate, what you can, what you can get in turn, in return. Life is unstable. Finally, by the humble mood of Mahaprabhu, by the kipa of Mahaprabhu, he was totally changed. But Sukrajaja now going to change. That the Vijay Pandi totally changed. Previously he was materialistic Pandit. Previously, previously he was materialistic Pandit. First of all, previously. Previously he was materialistic Pandit. But after that, previously, previously he was Previously, he was material Pandit. But later, when later when he came in contact with Mahaprabhu, enjoying Kripa Mahaprabhu blessing, then he was converted into a Prakita Pandit. But here, Sukrajaj is not going to change his mood. Going to advise that way. But anyway, when Bali Maharaj was Barimas was bound to take resolution, I can give, I must give. Then Sukraja is going to curse him. Well, you are going to you are going to lose all your property and your appliances. You can become beggar. Well, so what is concerned to me? For Vishnu, I can do everything. Those Sukracha are going to curse, those Sukracha are going to curse Bali Maharaj. But Bali Maharaj was not at all ready to change his decision. He was so re fixed up in his. Finally, when really so, the Bamandev going to show that he is an infinity Vishnu, going to take all heaven and everything, Sargama, Tapatal, all everything, uh, three footsteps, even within two footsteps, he is going to cover everything, all material world and every Sargama, everything. Then, then there is no place, then there is no place, you know, for Bali Maharaj to give. Bhamandev asking, where is the, where, where I can, where I can put my third leg? You told, you promised me to give three space of land, but they are within two, within two everything finished. All your belongings, all your belongings, all your possession, all gone. 
Now what you can give to me? Where I can put my, where I can, where I can put my third leg? Then Bindavali, the wife, chesty lady. Bindavali, the wife of Bali Maharaj, giving advice to Bali Maharaj because Bali Maharaj was, you know, in bonded condition, not pass with some special snack. He was too totally and tight up. He was in bondage. He cannot. And when Prahlad Maharaj coming, cannot pay prostrate donor. He is crying and looking at the lotus feet of Prahlad Maharaj to express his gratitude, love, faith, affection, and you know, unto the lotus feet of Prahlad Maharaj, who is Guru, whom he uh, took as Guru. Now, Bande Bindavali going to advise. Now, Bindavali. Now, Bindavali. Now, Bindavali, the chesty lady. Now, Bindavali. Now, Bindavali going to advise to Bali Maharaj. Why not you speak? Bindavali going to advise. Why not you? Why not you? Why not you speak in front of? Bindavali speaking. Why not you speak in front of Bhagwan? That your head is there, you can get your head. Bindavali going to request. Bindavali going to give advice to husband. Bali Maharaj, why not you? Why not you agree? Why not you confess that you can give your? Why not? Bindavali, Bindavali going to, Bindavali going to give advice to Bali Maharaj. Why not you speak in front of Bhagwan Bhamandev? that you can give your head to put the third leg. Well, very good. Then Bali Maharaj, by the advice of wife Vindavali, going to offer his leg in front of Bamandev Maharaj. Bamandev Maharaj, very, very satisfied. He was very, very satisfied and going to put the leg, third leg on the head of Bali Maharaj, which is very rare Kripa which is very, very rare kipa, we cannot expect. But still, Sukrachajo cannot understand. But one thing very important, Sukrachajo could realize, finally when the yoga, finally when Sukrachajo going to restore the yoga requesting Bhagavan, when finally Sukrachajo going to request Bhagavan, Prabhu, this Jagya, there is disturbance, there is disturbance in Jagya. So you please restore this Jagya love. That time Sukrajaju was very speaking some important thing. <laughs> Maybe due to Satsanga. Due to Satsanga is getting nice and Bali Maharaj doing this way, Bindavali and all Balpral Prahlad Maharaj coming. Maybe why is mentality? Mantra Taha Shidram, Tantra Taha Shidram, Desa Kala Samahataha. Sarvam nishchidam karoti tava nama sankirtha nama sankirtanam tavo. Prabhu, all and any kind of defects, any kind of defects, any kind of problem going to happen in Jagya that can be completed by the help of Sankirtan. That is possible. That's why by the help of Sankirtan, Jagya was completed anyway, this way. Now, Point is that why I speak all this thing? Because when Naraji Maharaj is going to appreciate Naraji Maharaj, when Naraji Maharaj, when Naraji Maharaj is going to glorify, when when Naraji Maharaj is going to glorify Indra Maharaj, speaking so many things, then Indra Maharaj was feeling sorry, he was feeling shy. And going to request, you will have to think twice before you passing this kind of why. You are speaking, I am actually useless. I have nothing. I am the king of heaven. What is the stability of this position and rank? You know, many times I was bound to go away throwing everything. Now you are going to glorify me. You know. So Parikhit Maharaj yesterday, I already discussed, I am going to remind you only, I am not going to discuss anything, you know, 
what I told already yesterday, Parikhit Maharaj Uvacha, Parikhit Maharaj speaking, Harikatha, I mean Vyad Bhagavad Amrita, Bhagavad Amrita extract all, all cream. Bhagavad is itself cream. Bhagavad itself cream. But still, from Bhagavatam he is going to get some jewel, I mean, and an Amrita to serve proper way so that only the question of bhakti can arise and solution can come also this way. So Parikhit Maharaj, so Parikhit Maharaj speaking, Itham Indraso Sauhagya, Itham Indraso Sauhagya Vaibhavam Kirtayan Muhu, Devarsi Vadayan Vinam, Slago Mano Nanart, Nanartatam Itham Itham Indrasa Sauvagya Vaivavam Kirtayan Muhu Itham Indrasa Sauvagya Itham Itham Indrasa Sauvagya Vaivavam Kirtayan Muhu Devarsi Vadayan Vinam Sagaman Nanartatam Tato Ohibaddo, Tato Ohibaddo, Devarsim Ubachendra, Sanair Riya, Bho Gandharbo Kalavikyo, Parikid Ubacha, Itham Indraso Sauhagya Vaibhavam, Kirtayan Muhu, Devarsir Badayan Vinam, Slagamano Nanatatam, Tato Ahibaddo Devarsim Uvachendra Sanoi Riya, very full of sai and going to speak Bho Gandharva Kala Vigya. You are very expert in Gandharva Kala, art and culture in, which is available there in Gandharva Loka. Bho Gandharva Kala Vigya Kim, Mam Upahasan Osi, you are going to joke with me. Eh? How you are going to speak that way? After that, going to speak everything. I am not going to discuss. I can go to other chapter. I mean, more forward. Asho na sargo rajyasa vrittam betsi tamevakim. You don't know the history of this, you know, you know, heavenly heaven. Koti bara nito dhita bhita smavhir non. Eh? Eh? Nirgatam? You don't know? We were all driven away by Bali Maharaj many times, not one time. We were many times driven away from this heaven and we have no power to get control over our, you know, heavenly planet, everything. So how you can stay? Most unstable my chair, my, my position and rank. Acharam Bali Indrattam Asurana Eva Sarvatro, you don't know, you know, Daityaraj Bali, he took the chair, he took the throne position. He was Indra and went, want, wanted to get control over everything. He wanted to get control over Surya Dev, Sun God, Moon God, all in control, everybody. And he wanted to take the share of Jagya. Always he wanted to, always he wanted to snatch away. Always he wanted to take away all our yoga share. Always he wanted to take away all yoga share of our Jagya. Always he wanted to take away all our yoga share from us. He was enjoying. He was enjoying the full share of all Jagya. Everything. Tato Nastam Tato Nastama Matribham Tato Nastam Matribham Tapo Vir Bitato Ir Diroi Tato Nastatam Ritabhyam What do you say? Tato nas tatam tatam matribhyam. Tato nas tato 
मातृभ्याम ततो न स्ताता स्ताता हैं ततो न स्तातो मातृभ्याम तपो भीर वितोतोयर दिरोई तोषितो ओपी अंश मात्रेन गतो बात्रित्तम अच्छुता by the Astritian finances, by the, you know, brother, taken by my father and mother. Tato nos tato matri bhyam tapavhir bitatoir diroi. By the, by the brother, by the bow taken by father and mother, I mean Kasab Muni and my mother Diti. That why finally he was satisfied. Toshito opi. He was satisfied, but still, by his amsa, not fully, is coming in the form of my brother, Bhamande, but partially, he has a partial, you know, an angsha matrena, gato bhatritam achuta. Achuta, Bhagavan, only taking the form of my brother, taking birth as a brother, but is not complete, is coming in angsha matrena. Are you are going to glorify me? What kind of kipa we can expect? And now we are feeling sigh because though you are, you know, we know, though we know, though we know, this my brother, Bamande, when, though, 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 though we know, though I know that Bamande went to the Jagya Khetra, a spot of Jagya, and there he wanted to take some donation, bhiksha, and in the form of bhiksha, very cleverly, he took back the heavenly planet. He took back the heavenly planet from the grip, from the grip of Bali Maharaj. But I am feeling sorry, we are feeling sorry, because Vishnu Bhagavan could kill them, if, Bhag if Bhagavan, Bhamandev, I mean Vishnudev, could kill them, all of our enemies, eh? that is that was safer thing. But he is not going to kill. He is not going to kill. Only by very cleverly, he is going to, by very tactfully, he is going to take some donation, bhiksha, and he is going to give back from, from and give back this heaven, you know, heavenly planet. So we feel sorry. You know, follow. Tathapi ahatta. Ahatta means without killing enemies. Without killing, without killing my enemies. Only Mamandev wanted to play some trick to take back the heavenly planet from the grip of Balima. That is, that is derogatory. We feel, we feel sorry for that. He could kill even. He could kill. But he is not, he, he, he could kill, but no. Tathapi ahatta tano satruno kevalam nas tapakrita maya jacho naya adayo bale rajo dado swame. Maya jacho naya adayo by the help of maya tactfully, by the help of yoga maya. <laughs> Maya jacho naya adayo bale rajyo bale he from Boli Maharaj taking back the kingdom of heaven, heavenly planet, rajyo and he was, uh, he gave me. It is derogatory for us, we can, cannot feel happy for that. And, and also you are speaking heavenly planet is very, very perfect planet, but there is also different kind of problems there. Jealousy there, competition there, crowd, angry attitude also there. Who told? There is no problem. You know, actually you know everything. How you are going to glorify me that way? You know everything. Spartha asuyadi doshena Brahma Hattadi Papataha eh? Nitto Pato Bhaye Napi King Sukham Sargo Vasinam. What kind of you know satisfaction there in heavenly planet? Yesterday I was 
I, I, I was discussing this. No chaindra sasukham kinchin na sukham chakravarti na ha sukham asti virakta sa mune rekanta jivena. There is danger for Indra Maharaj. Heaven is blind. There is full of danger. You know. Bhagwan Sri Krishna is going to give a nice example to 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 uh, Uddhavji Maharaj. That I like to speak here. That I like to speak here. Bhagwan Sri Krishna going to Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Bhagwan Sri Krishna going to you know. Bhagwan Sri Krishna going to Bhagwan Sri Krishna going to speak. Bhagwan Sri Krishna is going to speak in front of Uddhav Ji Maharaj in eleventh canto. Uddhav, you know, is very dangerous. One day, one very small bird getting one piece of meat. I mean, flesh. One piece of flesh and running to 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 enjoy it. But all birds, vulture and this that, you know. They are going to follow. They are going to attack the small bird. The small bird was feeling very, 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 you know, you know, you know, fear, full of fear. And ultimately, when the small bird running, and they are also going to chase the small bird. The small bird don't know why. What? What I have done? The small bird don't know what I have done wrong. So that they are going to attack me, it, the small bird cannot I understand. But simply running very fast, in course of his flying very fast, automatically from the brick, from the mouth of that you know, from the brick of that you know, small bird, that the piece of that flesh fall down. Then the small bird discover all the birds they are running towards that piece of. All in a flesh. Now the small bird understand well. Now I understand what can be the reason for why they are going to attack me. Now I discover oh, ah, that piece of in a flesh was there with me. For that is why they want to attack attack me. That understanding should be there with you and me as a sadhu. If we are busy with plab, puja, patish, everything, whatever great acharya he may be externally, great acharya means real acharya. But I am using in material sense. Material people say he is a great acharya, but he is busy with his own to protect his own position, rank. He cannot allow his followers to attain the hari katha of other people, other bhikkhu maharaj. No, don't go. Maybe. So he is very, he is very anxious to protect his own position and rank. Follow what I say. He is very anxious. He is very anxious to protect his own position and rank. This way everywhere, we cannot expect this kind of thing in. We cannot expect this kind of thing in devotional line. Those who are pure devotees. Those who are pure devotees, they never going to express this kind of mood. They never going to express this kind of mood. So follow, you see. So any kind of. So we cannot expect this kind of mood in in, in devotional field. So in devotional field, also in devotional field, bhajan field, we are also find this kind of jealousy. Don't allow that Maharaj to speak. And he is going to get name and fame. They don't know that Maharaj is less interested about name and fame. They don't know. They think he is like us. So the example given by Bhagwan Sikhisna, the example of the small bird is rightly applicable here, appropriate. All love, puja, patisha, position, rank. If I get in my life, then everybody can attack me. That is the big, you know, follow. Now heavenly planet is not stability is not there unstable. In the Maha speaking, my you are going to speak. I have great big affluence and everything, but you know 
स्पर्श एवरीथिंग कंटेमिनेटेड हेवेनली प्लैनेट इज ऑल्सो ऑल अब्रह्म भुवन लोका पुनर्वर्ती न अर्जुन फ्रॉम ब्रह्म लोक इवन द प्लेस ऑफ ब्रह्म फ्रॉम राइट फ्रॉम राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ब्रह्म अप टू द एंड ऑफ चैटी चैटी मीन एंड ऑफ वन एंड ऑल गोइंग टू रिक्स गोइंग टू यू नो रन इन रिसाइक्लिंग ऑर्डर नो रेस्पाइट एज एंड वेन वी कैन गेट कृष्ण भक्ति we can get siddhi bhakti siddhi by the mercy of prabhupad guru guru varga bhakti vinod thakur then there is solution no solution before that so in the maharaj going to speak in front of maharaj ji maharaj des pardha asuyadi dosena brahma hatvadi pat papatah eh nitto pato bhaye napi king sukham sargavasinah what kind of happiness is there i also told you yesterday na na cha indra sukham kinchin na sukham chakravarti na sukham asti virakta sa mune rekant jivena only those who are pure sadhu they are feeling satisfaction all world they are full of tension and anxiety they cannot go out of that in the mass speaking how you can say that a heavenly planet is pure place it is full of contamination jealousy competition different kind of defects are there also brahma hatta pap you know brahma hatta pap because of killing brahman and gomata that kind of sinful activity is going to touch me in heaven and there is every possibility there is every possibility there is every possibility that any time i can fall down there is no stability yesterday i was discussing about vaishnavi pratishtha or the pratishtha of indra maharaj is not vaishnavi pratishtha vaishnavi pratishtha vaishnavi pratishtha is chesti pratishtha the chesti the chesti the chesti of vaishnavi pratishtha is resting the chesti of vaishnavi pratishtha rest the chastity of vaishnavi pratishtha resting on to the lotus feet of balaram nitananda there is stability pratishtha but all unstable even the even the even the chair even the even the position of brahma is unstable brahma swigi so why should we run like idiot behind all this thing mani position everybody can give garland everyone say oh gurudev who is guru what is the symptom of guru ha eh? follow so nitto path bhaye na pe any time i can fall down from heaven there is not at all seven stability what kind of happiness what kind of happiness you proclaim in heaven no thing there all as we are in danger so this way this way when narad ji maharaj going to glorify indra it is the nature of devotees we have seen in the life of our guru varga when madhav gusi maharaj one incident i am speaking so that you can realize param puja sridhar gusi maharaj going to arrange one big assembly at the last day last day mean when gorpurnim when gorpurnim was just over just the next day i mean jagannath mishra anand utsav you know very well that day one big function was there for harikatha sridhar sridhar gusi ma arrange All God brothers invite all God brothers. They are coming, but Sir Madhukusi Maharaj was very late. When Madhukusi Maharaj going to enter the arena, the place of that you know assembly, then everybody passing remark like God brothers. Eh? Some God brothers going to passing remark. Madhukusi Maharaj always late because he is busy with all big appearances all the time. Ah, ye awan ya. all the time is busy with big appearances you know he should not you know this way i hear that's why he is always late but sidhar gosi maharaj is going to speak very loudly no this kind of appearances that kind of pratishtha the kind of pratishtha my 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 god brother madhav gosi maharaj is getting is very important it is just be fitting with him it is not fitting with us sidhar gosi maharaj so humble 
is going to speak it is just befitting for sridhar ma uh, befitting it is just befitting for madhuga sim maharaj he can do anything and everything very you know this kind of, but for us it is excesses if we want to do it it is one kind of excesses but for him no it's very good this way this way all the time this way all the time one vaishnav going to glorify other vaishnav this is the rules in the in this vaishnav society if we find just opposite then the whole chain then the whole chain of vaishnav samaj can break down follow now this is the situation if i show documents if i show letters everything all everything but still they cannot believe because i am not international acharya they are international acharya they can speak lie they can cheat you they can do anything you are all going to follow them if i show documents still they are not going to believe because i am a very small man there is a tragedy but but on tuesday i can discuss this point absolute truth is not just such not, not such a cheap thing by evolution by andalan by evolution by shouting you can change i can discuss on tuesday special arigata follow morning time 7 o'clock but they want to change even if i going to speak about absolute truth they are going to fight with me they are going to do agitation against me why am i not speaking that way i cannot change my opinion if you can prove that i am speaking lie then i can change because you cannot prove that i am lie because i am speaking about proper and bhakti mein chakko our siddhanta i am speaking nobody can point out so i cannot change if you like to kill me still i cannot change so this is the rules and regulation i we have seen in the life of bhakti guru puri ji shri maharaj always glorify are maharaj he is a, you know guru maharaj is so senior devotee very small devotee come still you are great you are doing this that this is the rules we cannot criticize ha eh? prabha speaking when i think prabha speaking when i think myself when i think myself superior to you then i can take the advantage to insult you when i can think that i am superior to you then and only then this kind of feeling to insult you can come inside my heart ittinada bhi is there i can never insult no way no way i cannot insult no way i cannot insult anybody ittinada bhi should be there there is a first and foremost quality of a preacher if not there preaching not done you can do you know evolution whatever you can like but preaching was not done perfectly we can pass this kind of remark hello so anyway narad ji maharaj when going to glorify indra indra also going to uh, speak you know going to cry and speak that way to express his humbleness why you are going to there is a nature avaishnavas so all i am speaking now what i am speaking the position there i am enjoying in heaven is also unstable you know this way indra maharaj going to prove indra maharaj going to prove and pun indra maharaj going to prove that that you are you are going to glorify me you are going to speak i am the i am the kipa patra you are going to prove that i am the kipa patra of bhagwan but you will have to I think twice before speaking i am not kibabatra i am not kibabatra how i am kibabatra if i am kibabatra ho muni just you know you are actually your you heart is very you know in open heart that's why going to glorify me but you are why not you think about my position if vishnu if i am at all the kibabatra vishnu how you know how how vishnu i mean baman dev going to ignore me all the time ignore yes ignore how it was possible for vishnu and how it is possible for vishnu i mean for krishna to take this whole assembly sudharma sabha sudharma sabha is a special assembly room sudharma sabha is a special assembly room in the heaven for demigods to 
uh, assembly that was taken there by Krishna and that was taken in Darika. Sudharma, Sudharma Sabha was taken from heaven, which is a heavenly property. It was taken forcefully from here, heaven, and it was installed there in Darka. How I can say, you can say, is, you know, have mercy on me. Although, so also, a Pariyad Bhikkhu special, Pariyad Bhikkhu, the special, in a tree, you know, that was also forcefully taken by, you know, Bhagavan to install their, you know, plant there in Daruka Dam. That one. So you are Sudharma Parijad, it was taken in a Martha Laka in, 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 in this Devi Dam here in, on this earth. It was, you know, taken by Bhagavan. And now you are going to speak that I am enjoying Kripa. How you can say that way? Now some question can come. Somebody can, some, somebody can speak that way, Maharaj. Actually, it is the nature of devotees. It is, you, you can speak that way. I can give answer also. You can speak that way, that Maharaj, it is the nature of the devotees. They are always going to feel shy and going to speak that way. Because in devotional line, in bhakti, if you are going to drink, if you are going to drink bhakti, if you, if you are going to drink bhakti again and again, then again you can feel some thrusty. Again you can feel some thrusty to drink nectar more and more. This is the nature. In devotional line, this is, the, this is the nature. If you drink bhakti more and more, then you can feel, feel thrusty, you can drink more and more. A, that's why in devotional line, they are not feeling saturation because bhakti means seva. They like to serve Bhagavan, serve Bhagavan again and again, different way. They are not feeling that. This can be there. You can speak that way. But we know, we know you are, your argument is good. But this is not the case with Indra. Your argument, maybe you, you are speaking that way, Maharaj, naturally Indra speaking that way. Maybe your argument is good. But still, the practical case, the case of Indra is not that. If you can go to Bhagavatam, Puran, this there you can find Indra was Indra was put into great danger on time to time. He was in great danger. He was in great danger. That's why in the glorification of Bhagavatam, I already told, Nacha Indra Sasukam Kinchin Nasukam Chakravartinaha Sukam Asti Virakta Samunerikam. Actually, practically there is no happiness there in heaven. There is no happening. So that's why Indra when speaking. Point is that if somebody is illiterate, try to understand the example. Kesav Goswami is speaking. <laughs> Sometime uh, his, his Godfather is going to glorify Kesav Goswami Maharaj. Big way. After that Kesav Goswami Maharaj is going to speak Harikatha. Now first of all Kesav Goswami is speaking the way the way my the way my Godbrother Puri Maharaj going to glorify me. I think it is not applicable for me. Because if some illiterate person is there, and if some illiterate person is there, and that illiterate person going to speak, that I am actually, I know nothing. I, I know nothing. I am useless. That is okay. Because, he, because actually he is illiterate. Kesha is speaking, if I am illiterate practically, 100%, if I am going to express that I am illiterate, it is not my humbleness. It is not my humbleness. But if a big Pandit, big Pandit is going to seek, actually, they like Mahaprabhu speaking in front of, you know, in front of those, you know, Mayavadis there in Varanasi. Guru more murkho deki korilo sasan. Guru, my Guru Maharaj, when he discovered that I am a foolish number one, I am illiterate, Mahapur speaking. So he thought, okay, Guru more murkho deki korilo sasan. You know, tumi murkho tumar vedante nahi odika, Mahapur speaking, in front of Prakasananda. When my Gurudev could discover 
when my Gurudev could discover that I am a foolish number one, that time Guru Mahārāj told, you have no right in Vedānta. Don't go through Vedānta. You cannot understand. So simply you go on chanting Hare Nā, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So, so I am dancing and singing. I don't understand anything what is written in Vedānta. Mahāprabhu going to express humbleness. That doesn't mean really Mahāprabhu don't know. What do you mean? When Mahāprabhu going to express this kind of humble attitude, Guru Mare, Murkho Dekhi, Kurilo Sasan, Guru Mahārāj, eh? When he could discover that I am a foolish, he told, you are foolish number one, you have no right in Vedanta. So better, you go on chanting Harinam, you can do it. Follow what I say. So when Mahaprabhu was speaking in this way, humble way, that surely it is one of humbleness. Because Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord. Similar like Sabhagasim was speaking, if I am totally illiterate, if I am going to speak that I am illiterate, I know nothing, it is not actually, actually, no, it is not Trinata Viva. It is not expressing my humbleness. But when I am actually Pandit, great Pandit, when somebody is going to speak something, if I speak, I am actually, I am actually illiterate, I know nothing, I know nothing, I am foolish, then it is called actually humbleness. Humbleness, positive and negative. When somebody has actual goli, there in Bhajan Rasa, Bhakti Mantra speaking, Hoilyo Sarvagune Guni Mahasai. Bhakti Mantra writing analytically. If you learn Bengali, you can feel. Ah, yeah, translation you can get. Hoilyo Sarvagune Guni Mahasai. Patishtasa Charikoro Amani Hidai. Bhakti Mantra writing. Hello. Hoilo Sarvaguna Guni Mahasai, though he is decorated with all countless qualities. Hoilo Sarvaguna Guni Mahasai is decorated with very, very nice, nice qualities, you know. But still, if somebody is going to express humble attitude, I am nothing in front of you, this is called actually humble. Our Bhakti Mantra teaching us, Hoilo Sarvaguna Guni Mahasai, Pratishtasa, you. He is going to he is going to avoid material pratishta and going to express humble attitude. Hoilo Sarvaguna Guni Mahasai, Pratishta Satajikoro Amanita. When somebody coming in front of Guru Maharaj and speaking, Maharaj, that Acharya, that side of river, that Acharya from Navadip going to speak, that Puri Puri Maharaj is Kanishta devotee, is Kanishta Dika. When speaking and crying, one devotee who loved my Guru Maharaj. In front of Guru Maharaj speaking and crying, that Acharya Maharaj, he has some jealousy against you, speaking this way, that you are actually Kanishtha Adhikari, always you are busy with Archana. Then Guru Maharaj laughing and speaking, my son, why you are crying? Why you are crying? That Acharya is, you know, that Acharya at least going to that Acharya at least going to give me certificate that I am actually Kanishtha Dika. I thought I am no Dika. But you are crying. Why? Guru Maha speaking, I thought I am no Dika. But at least he is going to confess that I have Kanishtha Dika. Hey? Why you are crying? Really so? It's called humbleness. Who is great Paramahansa, but going to express his mood that way. One day, Guru Maha is going in Train one very wicked man, very dangerous. He is going to put hand on the head of my Guru Maharaj. And one Sevak was there, Guru Maharaj Sevak one. He is shouting, Hey, why are you putting hand on my Guru Maharaj? Guru Maharaj saying, Why you become excited? Why you become angry? Maharaj, he is putting hand on your head. Aha, you don't understand, he likes to bless me. Why you don't understand, he likes to bless me, you become angry. Eh? This way we have seen what is called actual humbleness. There is no story. There is no story we have practically we have seen in the life of Guru Maharaj how humble he was. It's a great follow. Still it is our duty as a disciple if somebody is going to insult my Guru Maharaj, Guru Varga, we, we will have to, we will have to give fitting answer to make him set up we will have to give fitting answer to make him set up. Stop. I can prove that you are useless. Follow this way. 
So now, Indra Maharaj is going to express his humble attitude, but still, it is not actual humble attitude. Because actually, it is fact that in heavenly planet there is no stability, nothing. What kind of you know, enjoyment can we can expect in heaven? Though foolish people, those who are busy with karma kanda, those foolish people, those who are busy with karma kanda, they are always after 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 leaving this body, they like to enter heaven. But we don't like to go to heaven. What we can do? They are in heaven. There is nothing there for us, you know. Follow. Bhakti Murtak going to Bhakti Murtakur going to Bhakti Murtakur going to going to write in Kirtan. Anywhere, O Bhagwan, Sargopa Niraya Thaki, anywhere in heaven or in hell, wherever you bless me according to my karma pal, but you please bless me, bhakti should be there. Follow. Bhakti Muntagur praying in Kirtan. Tava Bhakti Rahu Bhakti Vinod Hidai. Anywhere. If you bless me in heaven or hell, anywhere I go according to my karma pal, but bhakti should be there inside my heart. Follow what I say. So now, Indra Maharaj is going to explain, Naraji Maharaj, you are going to glorify me, I am feeling sai. Utsadda mam avagayo Madhyam Amaravatim Sarvopari Sabhavanam Rachaya Masa Nutunam. You don't know. Hey, receiver, you don't know. Till now, everybody is speaking, heaven is an excellent place. Heaven is ex. Now, when the Darika Dham was established by Krishna, what you can say? You are going to glorify me. Eh? Naraji Maharaj, you are going to glorify me, the heaven is the best place. But when Darika Dham was established by Bhagavan Krishna, that was more excellent, unique, a prakita place. It can never be compared with the heavenly planet. What to speak about, you know, and a positive comparative superlative degree, no question, no comparison can be there. Because Darika Dham is a prakita. And heavenly planets, it is going to be destroyed after some time. So you are going to glorify me. So now, so Indra Maharaj is going to uh, cry and speak humble way. Utsadya mam avagayo madhyam amaravatim sarbo pari sabhavanam rachaya masunatunam. You know everything. Amaravatim and heavenly plan is going to ignore and going to and establish. You know. So how we can say that? How we can say that I am enjoying my position is very high. My, you know, my pratishta is very high. You know, heavenly plan is very good. There is no uh, disease and who told? You know na? You are you have experience. You know how many times I was bound to run away from heaven uh, when Bali Maharaj is going to chase me. Bali Maharaj is going to. We were all driven away by Bali Maharaj. We know very, you know it very well. Nothing new to you. And you see, only by the power of, uh, only by the power of the astuity and penances, tapasya of my father and mother, and by the, by the request of Brihaspati, Brihaspati, our Guru, he is going to take some puja from me. Matkita puja. By the, by the power of the Astritian princess done by my, by my father and mother. My mother done Paya Brata yesterday I told. And Pita Kasaba always doing Astritian princess, Jagya and Tapasya. So by their power and by the request of Brihaspati, our Guru, Somehow, unwillingly is going to take some puja from me. But as soon as the puja is over, he is going to vanish from the place. As soon as, soon as the puja is over, Bhagavan always busy to go away from my place. 
you saying you discover him beside me how long he is coming and going fuck so how you say that i am enjoying kripa of bhagwan hello is impossible how you am enjoying kripa hmm? sometime he is going to my offerings is going to accept sometime he is going to accept some offerings my my some offerings by me he is sometime going to accept accept i know but when we pray in front of prabhu i mean mamande we are we are we are going we we are expecting your kripa anugraha kripa then he is going to cheat us he going to you know going to you know avoid us banchana eh yeah. is going to de uh, you know with disip with deceptive attitude with deceptive attitude he, he is going to say well so long as i am not coming back you can do the worship of brahma and shankar is going with deceptive attitude with deceptive attitude is going to advise up that well if i am let well if i am let then you can do one thing you can you all can try to worship brahma and shankar so long as so long as i am not coming back then you can worship you can worship brahma shankar because you know they are non different from me this way this way all all the time this way all the time with this way all the time with deceptive attitude this way all the time this way all the time with deceptive attitude he is speaking this way he is speaking you forget that brahma shankar non different from me you have to see this way is going to teach cheat us and you know this heavenly planet what happened you know already when my guru dev there is jealousy there is a competition everything there one day indra maharaj was sitting in his chair with full glamour with full glamour everybody serving and you know, all with chamar and this that in the maharaj was there sitting but by chance by by chance guru dev braspati coming in this assembly in the maharaj could see in the maharaj could see that guru dev coming but still by he was so puffed up he was so false ego was there he didn't think it necessary he didn't think it necessary to stand up and come down from the throne and pray prostrate at dandavad and pay some of you know some you know puja to guru dev on the contrary in the my himself in the my himself speaking the one day my guru dev coming i was so puffed up i so false ego i didn't think it necessary to pay dandavat come down from the when senior senior devotee is coming we must come down from our asan if basasan then basasan is guru asan i mean in that case you will have to pay dandavat from there anyway so you see this way when i i was popped up i was expressing false ego i didn't think it necessary to come down from my uh, from my throne singhasan and pay prostrate dandavat to brahaspati gurudev and pay you know and do some puja but it was purposely due to my false ego then my gurudev go away from that place gurudev could realize the situation is very bad because i am full of false ego brahaspati gurudev he was insulted that way my gurudev my gurudev was insulted that way by me and he go away from my place and he vanish he vanish nobody can see we search all flies after some time after some time i understand my mistake after some time immediately i could realize my fault 
I was bound to take a shelter of my Gurudev. I wanted to pay Dandavat. I wanted to pay for excuse. But my Gurudev was not visible. Gurudev, Gurudev gone in invisible form. By mantra, Gurudev gone anywhere. We search whole heavenly planet. Everywhere. No way, Gurudev. Oh my God, Gurudev is not there. How we can do ritualistic activities like Jagya, this, that, how we can do? And there is danger. I have done some Guru Apara. Oh my God, who can send me? Who can send me? This way there was problem. When Gurudev is not available, somehow ritualistic activity, Jagya should be there. So they, by the request of Brahma, they are going to, they are going to request Vishwarup has some maternal, maternal relationship with them, are going to maternal side. They are going to request, you know, please you come, please you come, oh great Brahman, please come on behalf of us, we, are your, you, we have relationship with you, why not you please come. Then Vishwaru, by the, by, the, by, the, by the request of Indra Maharaj on demigods, Vishwaru was bound to come and arrange a Jagya, when the Jagya going on, because Vishwaru going to give Narayan Kavach a special power to Indra to give protection by the request of Indra Maharaj, he is going to do. But when the Vishwaru is you know, going to speak everything, Narayan Jagya. But when the Jagya going on, when the Jagya going on, Indra Maharaj suddenly discovered, suddenly could discover, well, he is going to, going to give the oblation, I mean offering in the fire, in the name of his, you know, you know, Asura also. He is going to speak, um, this, this, this openly, speaking the name of demigods. At the same time, he is also going to give in the name of, you know, Asura. Oh my God! He was very, was very angry and open the sword and cut and cut the throat of Vishwarup. Come on, you try to understand the gravity of the situation. First of all, he accepts there as Acharya, Jagga Acharya. At the same time, his Brahman, Brahmagga, is going to kill. He is sitting in Jagya, but without any consideration, you know, is going to open the sword and going to cut the throat of Vishwaru. Now, this is, you know, Brahma Hatta Brahma Hatta, big you know, offense. Brahma Hatta going to touch. Oh, big problem. Where to go? How to go? Where to fly? Nowhere. Follow. Nowhere to go. Where to go? Big problem. Big problem there was uh, finally again the father of Bisharup, he was very angry, wanted to take, he wanted to take revenge. Is Karma Kanda. Try to understand what I am describing is a, is a complicacy of Karma Kanda. All the sun, some problem coming, jealousy, fighting, this, that. But in pure devotion also we find. <laughs> But actually, no pure devotion there. A pure devotion there, they cannot be fighting. It's, our competition cannot be there. Humble attitude all the time. I am nothing. You know. So now, actually, the father of, actually, the father of, father of Bisharup, he took resolution to kill Indra. Now, he also going to arrange one Jagya, where he going to offer ghee. Clarified, but uh, oh, this way. He wanted to, he wanted to make a big, you know, figure, powerful figure from Jagya, who can kill Indra. Indra Satru, Satru means enemy. He wanted to, he wanted to get a powerful enemy of Indra from the fire. But the mantra of the Jagya was wrong. Follow. Hmm. But the mantra was misspelled. Pronunciation mantra was wrongly spelled. That's why just opposite happened. 
Follow. What opposite? Follow. Trashta, I mean the father of that Vishwaru wanted to get a powerful figure who is the enemy of Indra from that Jagya. But the just opposite was happened. Just opposite happened. What happened? I mean, who is the enemy? Huh? And uh, Indra Hatta, Indra Shatru, and us, uh, and uh, Indra Shatru Vivadasha. And uh, the pronunciation was just wrong. Indra Shatru Vivadasha. Indra Shatru Vivadasha. If a pronunciation with minimum time, if you do, then the meaning is separate. Indra, who is the enemy of that figure who is going to coming out from the fire, is an you know, coming. I mean, Indra can kill him. He cannot kill Indra. Pronunciation of little bit, little bit difference, little bit, just. But the meaning change, and the Jagya is going to give the result anyway. Wrong and right, whatever we are going to do, Jagya and Jagya not going to uh, Jagya not going to consider you, and no consideration. You are going to give the result. What you have done, what you have done, you are going to get result. Follow. You will have to take the action. You have you have to take the result of your action. Hey, according to Newton third law, every action has its every action has its equal and opposite reaction. Every action. Has it equal and opposite? He have done mistake, so he have to get the result. Who can take responsibility? Whereas we know from sastra, we know any kind of you know wrong and right what you are going to do, karma fall, subha subo, good or bad, you will have to take the responsibility. Abhasa meva bhakti abhyam, krita karma subha subham. It is in Shastra, it is written, any kind of bad, bad activity is good activity, whatever you do, you will have to take the result. Avasameva bhakti abhya, kita karmam sabha subham. Good or bad, any kind of activity you are going to do, you will have to get the result. So in Gita, I was discussing, first of all, don't try to get the result of the activities. Try to practice. Because pure devotion is a totally separate thing. Prema bhakti. First of all, you have to practice, to offer everything. Don't expect anything from Bhagavan. When Diti Maharaj is going to worship Vishnu Bhagavan, going to take some bow that was not, his concept, her conception was not pure. She wanted to get some benediction from Vishnu. In return, she wanted to take something. That procedure we cannot follow. That is not our procedure. Follow, we say. Now, point is that you see, how dangerous heavenly planet is that? In the Maharaj speaking rightly, not false. In the Maharaj speaking, you know the Brahma Hatta. You know the case, Brahma Hatta. Who, who can save me? How I can? Then after that, somehow the Rishi Munis they told that we can get, arrange Asama Jagya, which can make you, you can give you rescue from Brahma Hatta. Well. First of all, Indra wanted to take shelter there in the lotus feet of Lakshmi Devi, Lakshmi Devi in Manas Saravar. Himalaya, Himalayan hill, Manas Saravar, in the water, Padma is there, in water, Lakshmi Devi there, in Padma, Indra, Lakshmi Devi there in Padma. So Indra wanted to take shelter there and lotus. Indra wanted to take shelter and Indra wanted to take shelter. Indra wanted to take shelter. Indra wanted to take shelter. Indra wanted to take shelter onto a lotus feet of Lakshmi Devi. But in water, it is impossible to stay because any kind of share of Jagya, any kind of share of Jagya, Agni Dev, any kind of share of Jagya, any kind of share of Jagya. Any kind of share of Jagya, follow. Any kind of share of Jagya, any kind of share of Jagya, what Agni Dev, 
what Agnidev is going to carry for Indra cannot reach because Indra Dev is there in water. So for a long time he was fasting, he was in feeling big trouble there. So he fly from this heavenly planet. Follow. For a long time he was out of heaven. That time is big problem. Now again, again when the Jagga was done, Indra coming out, because those Rishi Manus there give assurance, you can come out, you can arrange Asamet Jagya, anything to give you, to make you rescue, give you rescue. Anyway, somehow Yagya was done. But after that, when Vittasur came out, when Vittasur came out of the fire of the Jagya, when Vittasur came out, when Vittasur, somehow Indra took shelter there in Manasaravar water, in lotus flower, there the lotus feet of Lakshmi Devi, there it was impossible for Agni Dev because Agni Dev, Agni Dev going to carry, Agni Dev always going to carry the share of Jagya. Whatever Jagya we are doing, we are giving the share of Indra. Agni going to carry the Jagya share and going to reach Indra to hand over. But that time it was impossible. Indra was fasting for a long time. He was in trouble, big problem. After that. Ashramet Yoga was done, somehow he came out, then again another problem happened. What is that? Bittasur too. Bittasur came out. He wanted to kill. But Bitta impossible for impossible for demigods to kill Bittasur. Then they were in problem. Big problem. Then they approached. Their big problem, no solution. Bittasur so powerful. Bittasur wanted to kill and destroy the heavenly planet. So powerful. Bittasur. So after that, finally what happened? They all took decision by the advice of Brahma. They went, they went to Tadichi Muni, one Muni, powerful Muni. He is doing Australian penance for a long time. Then Tadichi Muni, they are requesting, O oh Muni, if you can give your body, then we can make Bajra, thunderbolt, thunder, Bajra, Bajra, thunderbolt. Out of, we can make some missile. We can make some missile. If you can give your body. Huh? My body? Yes. Who can give body? Who can give body? And uh, now they are praying, glorifying Rishi Dadichi Muni. Dadichi Muni are satisfied for your benefit. I am going to give my body to you. Then going to live body. Then in the Maharaj going to carry that body. Going to get the bone, bone. From the body. Then Indama is going to collect all the bone from the body by mantra, going to make Bajra, thunderbolt. All missile can go in vain sometime, but Bajra inevitable. By the help of Bajra, only, only by the help of this kind of Bajra, only by the help of Bajra, Bitto, Britta, Sur can be killed. That was the information they got. So, so they collect the body of, you see the Karmakanda, what is the network? <laughs> if you like to follow, you can follow. But complication. Then ultimately, in the Maharaj was successful to collect the body, dead body of that Dadichimani, going to take out all in a bone from the body, going to make Bajra, and that Bajra was so powerful, by the help of Bajra, he took decision to kill Bittasu. But when the fighting took place, when the fight, when the, but when the fighting took place at the bank of Narmada Nadi, huh, one year, completely one year, the, the fighting going on, whole year, in our as per, as per our calculation, oh, the fighting going on, and Bittasu was so powerful. It was quite impossible for Indra to kill. Ultimately, Indra Maharaj going to cut his hand, two hand, everything. But still, Bhittasura was too powerful. He went to, he, he, is, he is marching, he is going to march forward. He is going to march forward to crash down. He is marching forward. He is marching forward in the battlefield to crash down all those demigods. 
Oh my God! After that, Indra Maharaj going to take out uh, his thunderbolt, Vajra, and going to throw finally. But before that, I must I must confess that Indra Maharaj was puzzled. Indra Maharaj was puzzled. Indra Maharaj was so puzzled. Indra Maharaj was so puzzled to see the bhakti of Vrittasur. Vrittasur is standing in the battlefield or dimming all demons. They are, they, are, uh, they are coward. They are going back. But Vrittasur, they, they are going back. Vrittasur in front of Indra standing and going to fight with Indra very powerfully. And Vrittasur going to express some tata began. Vrittasur, Vrittasur, Vrittasur going to express some tata began. Vrittasur, Vrittasur going to express, going to express some tata began. Vrittasur going to express some tata began in the battlefield. Going to speak. Aham hare tabo dasai ko dasa hut babitas me huyo this sloka. So many. Eh? So many sloka. Vrittasur, Vrittasur going to express some devotional tatta vijyan. Eh? Going to speak. Ajat paksha eva matarang khada. Ajat paksha eva matarang khada. Eh? Hello. Priya priyeva vishit. Vishitam Vishanya Manaha Aravindaksha Didikshatam He Aravindaksha In the last moment I like to find your lotus feet, I like to see your lotus feet. I cannot live without it. Like one small bird chipping, chipping in the nest, sitting in the nest of small birds, very, very small birds. All those small birds chip, I know they are they are chipping eh, inside nest. And crying for the mother to come and give some something in the face. Ajata Paksha Iva Mataram Khaga. Those who are not developing their you know their wing, wing. They are not developing their so they cannot fly. They are sitting in the nest and they are crying for mother to come. Ajata Paksha Iva Mataram Khaga. Stannam Jatha Basataram Kudartha. Like the like the small calf. Like the small calf always crying to reach mother to drink milk from the breast. Follow. Ajata Bhakshaiva Mataram Kaga. Stannam Jatha Basataram Kudartha. When a calf feeling hungry, one always try to reach mother to drink drink milk. But this kind of tenacity, this kind of attraction feeling. And the Priya, when hero gone outside, heroine going to cry for the hero to come and meet all the time. This kind of painful situation in the material world. Vittasu is going to pray, Oh Bhagavan, I am going to see your lotus feet. I am feeling helpless without lotus feet. I like to see you are the only support in my life. Vitasu speaking. Ajata Bhakshaiva Madaran Khaga Stannam Yathava Sataram Kudharta Priya Priyeva Vishitam Vishanya Manaha Aravindaksha Didikshatam. I like to see you. That much tenacity, that much attraction and feeling for your lotus feet. Indra gone mad. Indra gone mad after so much advice, so much, so many advice was given by Vitasu to Indra. Don't be covered. Don't feel shy. Take up your weapon and attack me. I like to lift this body and go. The lotus feet of Bhagavan. You do your duty. You do your duty. Don't feel shy. This is not the place where you can feel shy like a ladies. Go, go up and attract me. I like to lift body. I know all your weapons. I know all your. All, I know all your weapons. All almost useless. But the thunder, but the thunder, that the thunder, but the thunderball, but that the thunderball, but that the, but that but that bajra, but the thunderball bajra there in your hand, but the thunderball 
But the thunder ball, that bajra, bajra there in your hand, it can never go vain. It can never go in vain. But the bajra, what is the thunder? You have the special missile. Now that the special missile you have in your hand to kill me, you bring here to kill me. That can never go in vain. That the bajra, that the bajra you make from the bone of that big, big powerful that you see. What is that you see? Dadichi Muni. Dadichi Muni. Eh? You are making missile now. You are going to making missile. Eh? You are going to make missile to kill me. That is Bajra. That can never go in vain. That you can, that you can try. That you can try and kill me. Then after that, Indra is going to take up Bajra. And before throwing, going to going to going to going to you know express some uh, some strange remark in from bittasu indra speaking ho oh, asura you are asura how it is possible that ananna bhakti this kind of tremendous devotional you know mood is there inside you ho oh, in indra speaking some strange remark in front of bittasu Indra going to pass this kind of strange remark in front of Vittasura. How it is possible that you are actually, you are actually Asura. You are actually Asura. How possible this kind of in a bhakti, this kind of devotional mood is there inside you? Eh? You are Asura. Hmm. How it is possible? I strange, very strange. But actually that Vittasura is not ordinary asur. Vittasur actually you know, Chittagadu Raja, you know, who has given the post of the leadership of all Gandharva. Anyhow, somehow it was the arrangement of Bhagavan that he was cursed by Devi Durga, Devi Uma, Durga Devi. There was some incident. Then Durga Devi going to, Devi going to curse that you become Asura, go and make a take birth in Asura Kula. Then finally, Vrittasur, that time he was, his name was, you know, Chitraketu. He coming down from his chariot, going to pay Dandavat unto the lotus feet of Devi and going to speak, Devi, I am not going to request you to take back, I am not going to request you to take back your cards. I never feel disturbance. Well, Anywhere I stay, I should have bhakti in my heart that much. Anyway, I am coming. I am not coming to pray you, Dhanavad, and request you to take back your curse. Then Vittasur. Then he took birth in the form of Vittasur, who actually is Siddha Mahatma. And he was Siddha. Om Nama Bhagavate Vasudeva. This mantra, he make Siddha mantra and he his darshan was so, so clear, so powerful that even he can see everything. Invisible, invisible demigods, invisible ghost, invisible Gandharva, anywhere. He can see. He can see the lotus feet of Anantadev all the time. So, he was a disciple of Anantadev. He was a disciple of Anantadev and Mahadev Shankar Bhagavan also as a disciple of Anantadev. Follow what I say. In the form of snack, in the form of snack, Anantadev, in the form of snack, Shankar Bhagavan going to give honor to Anantadev in his neck and head all the time. So now Mahadev speaking to Mahadev speaking to Devi. Oh Devi, you curse, unnecessarily you curse. You know, he could he could also curse you. You know, you know. He could also curse you very easily. You know, he could also curse you very easily. But that is the, that is the curse of Guru Vishnu. That is the pure efficacy of Guru Vishnu. That is the humble mood of Guru Vishnu. They never curse. They never curse. He could easily curse him. You curse him. You curse him. He could also curse him. But he never wanted to curse you. 
on the contrary he wanted to pay you honor you are feeling disturbance he is going to you know honor and going to pay you honor and respect and go away now those are commentator now here one question can come maharaj one question very important question if you forget if i forget to speak then then my speech is not complete here one point is there somebody can put argument that he was he was passing one remark he was passing one remark about shankar bhagwan and shankar bhagwan is vaishnavaram jatha sambhu so he was passing one remark about shankar bhagwan that in the pope in the open assembly you see he is jagat guru when he was he was when he was flying away in the heaven by the help of his chariot that time he could discover the shankar bhagwan sitting in in the assembly of all rishi muni and in the left arm he is going to place devi maya bhagavati devi in his left arm you know follow you know thigh left thigh going to place devi and going to speak hari katha in choking mood just in just in choking mood just because his god brother his god brother isha in choking mood he he was chitraketu he has passing remark how is possible hey, he is jagat guru he is jagat guru he is going to teach whole world whereas he himself going to sit with wife in the lap hey eh? what is this hey eh? it is unbecoming it's not good then devi become angry shankar bhagwan never angry shankar bhagwan understand is joking because chitraket to know the power of shankar shankar bhagwan so humble so humble so great vishnu shankar bhagwan always wanted to prove shankar bhagwan always want to prove i am not vishnu i am not vishnu you see i am sitting with wife so i am not vishnu i i have so much uh, kama krodha last year everything there so i am not actually vishnu it is the mood of shankar bhagwan he is staying in 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 burn in burning ghat crematorium ground to apply the as of this last you know in body going to going to arrange such a form so that ordinary people cannot understand that he is a great vishnu निम्न गानम यथा गंगा देवानम अच्छुतो यथा वैष्णवानम यथा शंभु पुराणानम तु इदम भागवत हलो निम्न गानम यथा गंगा देवानम अच्छुतो यथा है वैष्णवानम यथा शंभु पुराणानम तु इदम भागवत दिस काइंड ऑफ श्लोक यू कैन फाइंड इन भागवत टू ग्लोरीफाई शंका इज अ ग्रेट ही नेवर वांट टू प्रूव ही नेवर वांटेड टू प्रूव एनी टाइम when when grand when actually when actually uh, dakha prajapati wanted to insult that time also he never wanted to give response he was so humble so humble always want to prove you see i am not devotee i have karma hey i am sitting with women but he is not woman he is actually sakti <laughs> ordinary people can think he is not woman and chittagatu always chittagatu know everything chittagatu not foolish he is a great devotee he know still passing this kind of remark but devi maya become angry and give curse but chittagatu not going to curse in return chittagatu very humbly very 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 gentle mood uh, going to approach devi pay dandavat and keep up then after that call Shankar Bhagwan all is going to pass now. Those commentator, Vishnu Chakravarti, everything they are going to speak. Actually, the remark, actually, actually the remark passed by. Actually, the remark passed by. Set and a chitra ketu. It was not direct offence. It was like offence. Aparad abhash. If aparad is there. how you can restore your bhakti intact is even inside the body of bhitasur 
That is why Indra was puzzled. I can discuss this point next week. Today, I can discuss this point next next week uh, clearly. Next week again, I can discuss this point to go ahead. Next week, I can discuss all in detail. That was not really cursed. Now I can come back to the case of Indra. That was the I wanted to explain to see the complexity of karma kanda. You want to solve this thing? Another problem. Another problem you can solve. Another problem can come. Another problem you can solve. Another problem. Countless problem can come around you if you are not going to show pure bhakti unto the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu and Bhagavan. That is a and the sloka I couldn't discuss. Next week I can surely discuss. Idam Bhagavatam Nama Janme Bhagavato Ditam Sangroho Ayam Vibhuti Nam Tameta Vipuli Kuru. यथा हरु भगवती नीना हम भक्ति रविश्वति सर्वात्मनि अखिलाधारी इति संकल्पो हो वर्णयो वांछा कल्पतुरुष्य के पास इन्द्रवज्ज पतितानं पापने भो वशनाभियोनम